Here is another video on uh, CPU cooler installation along with the processor installation on AMD AM4 motherboards. Uh, this one is Gigabyte A520, but it's going to be the same for all AM4 motherboards. So, pretty much what you need to do uh, if you want to install the processor first, lift the lever here on the side, take the processor, don't touch the pins on the bottom. Now, I always place motherboard like this uh, with rear ports towards me and the CPU you can see uh, Ryzen written like this, it always drops in like this. There is a little uh, golden like corner here in the corner of it and you can see another one here, you have to match up these markings. So you just drop it in, don't force it or anything, it just drops in, then hold it down tightly pull down the lever, the CPU is installed, that's it. Now for the cooler, for the stock AMD cooler you have to remove these screws and remove the top brackets. And I'll show you why we're doing this. There are four screws, really easy, nothing special. You remove this and now what you have here is the back plate. Uh, if you will be doing it inside of the case, it's probably going to drop on the bottom and you'll not be able to do it. So the easiest way to install a CPU cooler for AMD motherboards is to actually have it placed on the table like this. That's where the screws go, so the back plate doesn't fall anywhere and it makes it much easier like this. Now the cooler. The processor here is uh, 5700G with integrated video. This is the basic uh, AMD stealth cooler. Uh, I don't remember the exact name, but that's the basic one. It comes the same with 3600 processors and most of the lower powered ones. There are some taller ones, uh, but the installation is the same for all of them, except for those on high end processors where you have like levers on the sides. But that's going to be a different video. So we got uh, thermal paste here already spread evenly. If you see there is too much of it, uh, you can take a tool like this and remove some of it on the sides. Otherwise, it's going to spread out and like really spill outside, and it's going to be a mess. If you ever have to remove the cooler, I sometimes just remove uh, a little bit of that thermal paste and if you need to apply a new one you can always get uh, a little tube like this and uh, just put a little drop here in the middle again you can spread it out or you can leave it like this it doesn't really matter it's gonna do it on on its own but with stock coolers you always get the thermal paste already applied so you don't have to do anything with it now you match four screws with four holes here Just put it on top, make sure all the holes are matching with the screws. Now what I do is just use one hand and hold it on top like this. Then just make a few turns. You have to press slightly on the screwdriver because uh, there are springs that like if you're not gonna press on it, the screws will pop up. A few turns on each side. At this point it's already locked in. Now you can finish it off in like crisscross pattern. So you finish this one. Then we are going on this side. Do not screw in one side and then the other one. You you have to do it like this, otherwise it's just not gonna sit straight and thermal paste not gonna spread evenly. So you finish this one and you can hear those springs. Okay, it's done. This is the back plate. All four screws are in. It's in place. Now, what I usually do is hide this wire under the fan shroud. It's really easy to do. You just slide it underneath like this. Now I'm bending it a little bit and hide the rest over there. Just gonna make it really clean and that's your four pin fan connector and you always have to find the CPU fan 
header on the motherboard. Plug it in and we are good to go. It looks nice and clean, that cable is not gonna go anywhere, it's not in the way of the fan. That's how it looks. That's it.